fish. What are those? <laughs> Isn't it so perfect? Today is February 15th, 2022. We have been experiencing infertility for the past a little over a year and a half. And today is the day we are transferring one of our embryos and I'm getting pregnant. They call it pregnant until proven otherwise. So today I will officially be pregnant until proven otherwise. Today is our official frozen embryo transfer day and I wanted to document today and take you guys along with us. It has been such a long journey to even get to this next step doing the frozen embryo transfer. If you've been through infertility treatments or IVF, you know how everything has to align perfectly in order to even make it to a transfer. And I honestly keep pinching myself. I'm like, is this actually happening today? I, I keep waiting for something to go wrong and for it not to happen because I think when you've been going through infertility, you prepare yourself always for the worst, but it's happening. Today I'm getting pregnant. My body is worthy. My body is healthy. My body is ready. My embryo is healthy. My embryo is ready. This is our day. This is our time. This is our moment. Whenever I feel a sense of doubt, I try to say an affirmation or just put it out into the universe. If anything, it helps me feel better, but I've just been trying to have good vibes. Anyways, I wanted to share like an update about how I'm feeling emotionally. I haven't been emotional yet, um, but I, I feel like when it happens, when it comes out, I'm not gonna be able to stop. Um, like I feel like I'm gonna get emotional at some point today and it's gonna be bad. But I'm not like overly excited. I'm not overly nervous. I feel very content, very at peace. This morning has been very peaceful and relaxing. I got up with Scarlett, took her to school. She was in a great mood today, so that definitely helped too. You never know with a five-year-old in the morning. I came home, drank some decaf coffee. We did our progesterone injection, our PIO injection. And then I got in the shower. I took a nice, long, hot shower and I completely did my hair. I blew it out, I curled it and I did my makeup, and I just got myself ready to make myself feel really good. I wanted to feel really, really good today. Our transfer isn't until 3.30 today, so we are going to go make a day out of it. Ty and I are gonna go eat at our favorite Italian restaurant, North Italia. We're gonna have a nice lunch, and then we will drive to our appointment. One thing that keeps running through my mind is there's not, there's not a lot of days in your life that, well, first of all, you know you're gonna get pregnant, but there's not a lot of days that you know are gonna be potentially monumental, life-changing days in your life. And today is potentially one of those, and it's such a bizarre feeling. Today could result in the end of our infertility journey. Today could result in us completing our family. Today could result in us giving Scarlett a sibling, and um, here it comes. <laughs> I knew it was gonna come. Today could honestly just be one of the most amazing days and I, I know how special today is going to be. I'm, I'm so excited for the whole experience of the, the embryo transfer. So many women have told me how magical this day is and I can truly sense it already. I feel so calm and so at peace and happy. I feel happy. If you're new here and just stumbling across this video, thank you for being here. If infertility has been affecting your life too, I truly understand how you feel. It is not an easy process at all. Anyways, let's get this day started. I wanted to dress comfy but also cute since we're going to lunch first. I'm wearing this cute little tunic yeah. dress. Ready to go make yeah, a baby? Yeah, let's go make a baby. Well, I guess we've already made the baby. Yeah, the baby's been made. I totally forgot to change out my battery, so I have a completely dead camera, but it's a good thing I brought backup. I brought my smaller camera with me because it's a little bit easier to like take out in public, but um, I'm glad I brought this with me because otherwise that wouldn't have been good. I wouldn't be able to vlog. What's up? What's up? I forgot, to, or I switched out the battery and it must have not have charged because that camera's completely dead. Oh, yeah. the other camera? Anyways, we are... In the car, we're heading to go um, have lunch. We're going to eat at North Italia, which is the best Italian food. It's, yeah, it's so good. It's so good, it's our favorite. As long as you can have a shake. Oh, did you get a monster? Okay, yeah. Ty has to have his morning monster. So, we're gonna go. So you have a choice. Yes, we're gonna go have um, our lunch before the embryo what are you transfer. Get there? I'm gonna get the cheese that I'm not gonna be able to eat when I'm pregnant because I don't think you can eat like a lot of soft cheeses, like burrata. I'm not entirely so sure. Ew. 
I, I like unpasteurized cheese you're not supposed to eat once you're pregnant. I'm not entirely sure. I need to look, look all that up, talk to my doctor, but I'm definitely getting the burrata. They have this like delicious burrata with apple and what else is with it? Squash. It's so good. You eat it with bread. And I'll probably... It is really good and I normally don't like that type of stuff. Yeah, it's delicious and I'll probably get some pasta. We've got our burrata and some bread to eat with it. It's so good. It looks so delicious. Okay, this looks amazing. Prosciutto and fig pizza and Ty got the... Bolognese. Bolognese pasta. I've never, yeah, I've never had this before. We are officially one hour and 45 minutes away from transfer. We are stopping at a gas station right now to pick up some water for me because I have to have a full bladder going into um, our appointment. I just went to the bath the last time in the restaurant and I'll be right before you. thank you. Um, and now I'm gonna chug this water on our way to our fertility clinic, which is like a 30 minute drive or so. You're supposed to have a full bladder when you go in for your frozen embryo transfer. I think every doctor is different. My doctor didn't give me like a specific amount of water to drink. He just told me to drink enough water, not to the point where I'm uncomfortable, but just drink a good amount of water before my appointment. It's supposed to help with like the placement of everything. I'm not entirely, entirely sure. Good the goods. Life water. They have smart water, but I figured you wanted that. Typically, that top. I do. I always want the water tops with the what the do you call nipple. It? <laughs> I'd call it a nipple. The nipple? No, it's like the sports top. <laughs> the nipple. I was telling them earlier. Not many days you go through life, you get a. What am I trying to say? No, There's, when your baby is conceived. No, when your baby is conceived. I mean, yeah. but it's kind of weird because like already conceived, right? But there's not many days you know you're going to get pregnant, or like this day could change your life forever. You know what that's I mean? That's true. Yeah, that's true. And today's like, uh, potentially one of those days, mm -hmm. which is still so crazy. Yeah. What What would you call it? What kind of day is it? Monumental, life changing. That's what I've been saying. Yeah. It's a monumental, potentially a monumental, life changing yeah, day. <laughs> for sure. So yeah. Um, Should we head out? Head to the clinic. We're gonna be there early. It's okay. I'd rather be uh, there early. Yeah. You wanna be there early? I don't know. Do you have anything you need to do? No. I'd rather be there early and sit in the car. I think. Well, we'll head that way, and I'll just drive the speed limit for once. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any last um, thoughts you have before we go? I've shared all my thoughts today. Do you have any thoughts? Um. I'm definitely weirdly not nervous. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't really have to do anything, so like, I mean, I'm, of course, like, you've already done a little due anxious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my job was easy, but yeah. I'll be nervous, like, when we're like testing to see, you know, yeah, the pregnancy test stuff. My nerves are definitely definitely starting to kick in a little bit more as we approach the actual appointment, but mm -hmm. still feel pretty calm. Surprisingly, I thought I'd be more of an emotional wreck today. I'm not. Not yet, at least. The day is still young. All right, I'm gonna drink my water. Yeah, I know, you're, you're gonna get emotional, for sure. I think I'm gonna get emotional after it's done. Okay, I already feel emotional talking about it. <laughs> yeah. I think once the procedure's done and, like, it's, the embryo's been transferred, that's where it's gonna all hit me, but we'll see. I really don't, yeah. I don't know so hard to say how you're gonna feel when you, you don't you just don't know. Just pulling up pull to our clinic. Oh. Trying to find a spot in the shade. Oh, look at that. Oh no, it's a oh, post-surgical yeah. pickup. <laughs> That's why it's open. It is, what time is it? Yeah, it is 2.20, yeah, we don't have to be in there until three. I'm like holding off drinking the water too because I don't wanna drink it now and then have a full bladder for so long. Getting all ready. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I might think out. He has to fix these. I don't, I, I think that defeats the purpose of the germs on the shoes because you've already <laughs> it's like out. Good job. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Do I do it like? I don't think it matters. What are those? <laughs> Already. Cool. I'm straight up dressed in a dryer sheet right now. <laughs> Look at this. This is a straight up dryer sheet. <laughs> oh 
Why is this so funny to me? <laughs> Uh, we're waiting on some paperwork, but we're all dressed. I like <laughs> mine better. You don't like my outfit? My see through. Yeah, they, they were like, don't take off your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, I gotta keep my dress on actually. They were like, you can put this on, but don't take your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> she's just saving, she's just saying like two of those little bottles and the rest of the, her life water. Get it. For the baby. I'm, so now. I'm sure. So yeah, water. you just drink like, probably like a, at least a liter of water. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. Okay, All let's right. try this again. Yeah, round two. We did it. It is official. We just got home. And look at our beautiful embryo baby. Look at this. Isn't it so perfect? So this little, that little white dot right there is actually an air bubble and inside the air bubble is where the embryo was. So that's how you can tell. But we gotta watch, like we gotta watch it on screen and saw it shoot into, what do they call it? The uterus cavity, I think? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, but we had a few issues. Let me explain. <laughs> okay, so Ty is right here. By the way, um, I'm in bed resting. I'm supposed to be on bed rest for the, at least today. So just take it easy the next two days. First of all, I have held it together very, very much so today. I think there was only a moment of time where Ty and I both got super emotional and that was right after the transfer. And I think it was because everything just set in, but I've kept it together way better than I thought. Anyways, we got there and they get me up on the table and strap my feet to like these, what do you call them? Stirrups. Stirrups. They were trying to do like the ultrasound and everything and I didn't drink enough water apparently and we had to stop because he couldn't find my uterus because my uterus apparently is also um, back left or something and it's like u-shaped and i don't know my doctor had trouble finding it and my bladder wasn't full enough so rookie mistake i did not drink enough water i thought i did they just told me to drink enough water to the point where i had to go to the bathroom but wasn't uncomfortable so i thought i had done that but we had to stop and wait about 20 minutes i had to chug like two liters of water i seriously felt like i was going to throw up because i drank so much water so fast but um, it all worked out, obviously, in the end, and they came in the second time um, after, I mean, it was hard to find my uterus. They had to use a, um, like a, what is it called? The probe, the vaginal one, ultrasound. Mm -hmm. They did, had trouble finding it through, um, like, the stomach ultrasound thing. <laughs> I don't think that's the right terms, but um, they ended up finding it. Obviously, everything went great. Our embryo uh, thawed wonderfully. Um, it was hatching. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but it was exactly what Yeah, I still don't even understand what that means. But It's like a phase that kind of embryo funny. goes through. But yeah. yeah, it's everything went perfect. So minus the fact that I had one job and I didn't do it apparently. <laughs> that was you drink a lot water. of water though. I feel like... I know. I feel like you did... I, I feel like you did your part. It just... I, just I don't know. Didn't drink enough still apparently. Um, but whatever. It all worked out and... It feels super surreal right now, the fact that we have our embryo baby in my uterus, and my belly. I'm still trying to process that. I'm not really, like, I don't think I've fully grasped the idea of what happened. But I'm very excited, and now we wait. Our um, first beta blood test is in nine days, so nine days from today. So today is Tuesday. It is on Wednesday next week. But I guess I'm just gonna lay here and do nothing, which is not something. Yeah, me too. I did a lot of hard work today. Okay, so. <laughs> this is not something that I typically do. I'm on bed rest too. Okay, no. no. <laughs> yeah, um, Scarlett's not here. She's still with her grandma. So um, we're just gonna relax for a little bit and I don't know, maybe watch Euphoria. We started watching that last night. So I might binge that, but I am not used to laying in bed watching TV at five, well, I guess it's almost six o'clock right now, but this is new for me. Just ordered some ramen. You're supposed to drink like warm 
or just have like hot liquids after your transfer. So I thought this would be delicious and the perfect dinner. So we ordered our favorite ramen. Hi you guys, it's the next day. It is 10 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday and um, I wanted to give a little update before I close out this vlog. I am definitely feeling a little bit of cramping, but nothing crazy, and I am definitely tired. I slept really good last night, but I still feel tired. I just took my estrogen, and I just did our progesterone injection, and so maybe that's what's making me tired. I don't know. Maybe something's happening. I don't know either, but um, today I'm not on bed rest. I'm just supposed to take it easy for um, today and tomorrow. So I'm sitting at my desk. I just got off of a podcast interview and I am doing like some editing and stuff on my computer. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go lay down. I'm really trying just to listen to my body right now and um, do what it needs when it needs it. So I'm gonna close out this video. Thank you guys for following along with our embryo transfer day. This was definitely been such an experience. We are feeling so hopeful right now and very excited to find out if my body took the pregnancy and if it all worked. So we'll definitely keep you guys updated as we are able to. As we go through all of this, we will process the news, share with our friends and family, and then share with you guys here on YouTube. So hang in there with us, but thank you for following along and I'll see you in my next one.